Hello guys, Softoni here and in this video tutorial we're going to create this awesome background here in After Effects. Also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future tutorials. So without any further ado let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition. This is gonna be Final Cam. Of course, you can type your own text, full HD, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration 10 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's create our background, right click, find here new solid layer, like usual, I will rename this to Background, hit OK and then go right click, find here Layer Styles and then go here and find Gradient Overlay. Open up this gradient overlay option, click here to edit gradient and here in gradient editor let's add a few more markers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's play around with the gradient colors, hit that for this first one, let's go maybe sand blue color for the second one, let's try maybe darker blue like so, third one let's go purple, fourth one let's go maybe pinkish color like this. Sixth one, let's go maybe this kind of color. For the seventh one, let's go something like this. And for the last one, let's go again here and find cyan blue color. Hit OK and our next step is to change our angle from 90 to minus 45, like so. And also change style from linear here to reflected. And now, as you can see, we have this awesome gradient here in our final scene. Okay, now let's pre-compose our background layer, select them and then right click pre-compose, let's rename this to background, of course move all attributes into the new composition and you can also check this adjust composition duration to the time span of the selected layers. Hit OK and now let's duplicate this background layer, hit here and then go edit and then duplicate or control plus D and then let's add our first effect. Turbulent displays. If you can't find effects and presets, just go window and you will find it here. Okay, go here, turbulent displays, drag and drop onto our first background layer. And for the amount, type here minus 800, like so. And our next effect that we're going to use is directional blur. Drag and drop here in our scene. For the direction, let's type maybe 50, blur length to around 300, like so. And our third effect is gonna be glow effect. You can basically play around with all options for the glow threshold. Let's try maybe 80%. Glow radius play around maybe to around 80 like before and for the glow intensity let's also play around 0.7. Let's type here 80 like so. And now what we're gonna do is to animate our evolution for our turbulent displays. Hold alt then type here time asterisk maybe 50 or 100 according your needs and now in our finals when we hit zero we have this really cool background in our scene what we can do next is to duplicate this background layer hit ctrl plus d and let's find this overlay blending mode and now as you can see we have this type of colors here in our scene also if you want different kind of animation hit here on our background again then duplicate this turbulent displays once hit ctrl plus d move it below directional blur and let's change our amount to maybe 200 and size you can also play around 200 by 200 and also for this one let's repeat the process ctrl plus d move it below our directional blur and type here 200 and 200 also you can play around with the displacement but this is looking really cool and really awesome for me here in our scene also one thing what we can do here to make this scene even better looking, go right click, find here new adjustment layer, let's rename this to Unsharp Mask, ok, then hit here, go here in the facts and preset and find here Unsharp Mask effect, drag and drop here on our adjustment layer and you can here play around with the amount and radius of our sharpness, like so. And now in our finals we have this really awesome, really cool contrast looking background. 
One thing we can also do is to go right click, find here again our adjustment layers. Let's rename this to curves like so. Find here curves effect, drag and drop on our curves. And here you can also play around with the contrast to make our scene even more brighter or darker. Everything is up to you and according your needs. And now when we hit zero, we have this really cool and awesome looking background in our final scene. All right, you can also add a more lights effect like glow, light sweep, lens flare, and so many more. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. This was really easy to create and modern looking background. Hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Uh, this is easy technique. Play around with all options to get the result that you want. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future tutorials. Also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. Feel free to comment down below in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.